It's been such an entertaining day at the Amstel Gold and Van der Poel and company are back. Oh, wow. This is amazing stuff. 22 seconds, 1300 meters. If they continue to ride cat and mouse, they're going to get the information of the car. Now, Borksang is thinking, do you know what? I don't want to throw this race away. They're, they're now doing this walk, almost walking pace here, Rob. 13... He's lost his position now. And they're about to be joined by a whole new group, and Van der Poel and company might do it yet. What an exceptional day. Here comes Kwiatkowski. Left hand side hits the front, and he's right back in the game. How did they let them do this? And I finished behind. Kwiatkowski at the front and Fulsang in third place. 400 meters. Van der Poel behind. Clark with him. Schachmann. Balde. Madwa. There's Lombrecht. Trentin. De Marquis and Mollema. But it's the front three we're occupying ourselves with at the moment. This still could be anybody's. We've had one breathless finish already today. We're going to have another now inside the final couple of hundred meters. It's Alaphilippe who takes up on the right hand side. Look at Van der Poel going from behind though. Look at Van der Poel on the left hand side. Mathieu Van der Poel's going to do it. Mathieu Van der Poel. This is incredible. I have never, ever seen anything like this in my life. Mathieu Van der Poel has done it. Mathieu Van der Poel is the first winner of the Amstel Gold Race from the Netherlands since 2001. It's been 18 years. Prodigiously talented. This is the future of cycling, but, but I have never witnessed anything quite like that finish. That was a privilege to commentate on. I'm lost for words. Simon Clark trying to stay on his wheel, trying to stay second. And in the final few meters of an incredible race, not even the winner himself can believe it.